Welcome to the city of Saintes in the department of Charente Maritime. Had a two and a half hour or so drive to get here. Relatively easy drive in some respects straight down the motorway but still quite tiring when you've been up uh, four o'clock in the morning and just driven non-stop but hey you know it's part of the job. I believe this city is actually twinned with my home city of Salisbury. I can't remember for sure but I think it is beautiful cathedral that I'm looking at there. I think it's called Saint-Pierre, not quite sure. Sorry for those that actually live in Saint for forgetting your cathedral. There's a few things to do actually here and uh, there's quite a few religious things as well as a Roman amphitheatre. It's kind of like the, the bottom half of the Roman amphitheatre is still there. I think I can get a shot of it which I'm going to go and try after this place. Dawn isn't really happening. I thought it might do. I could see some colour on the horizon but hey what do you do? There's not a lot you can do, it just is what it is. I'll show you what I am doing, I'll show you why I've come to this particular viewpoint of Sant. You'll see why very quickly, a view over the rooftops, and then I'm going to go off, find that Roman amphitheatre and many other things today. What can I vlog? Well, you'll find out if you keep watching. So keep watching. So as the, the clock strikes at 8 o'clock in the morning, you can see the photograph that I've got here. There's the cathedral there, and you can see roughly on the back of my camera what it is I've done. Kind of very ordinary composition in a way. There's not really much that I could do with it. You've got the uh, the houses down here, the cathedral there. And then what I have done is this tree that you can see just here. I've just had to move the camera just slightly just to get rid of all those branches that were encroaching on the shop. What you might notice, by the way, is the, the roof style down here has changed. So it's a very, very flat roof style when you look at these houses here. I've also put my polarizer on because there is some actual reflections coming off of those roofs. So that's helping to, to get rid of those. But um, as the bell tolls, and they say, don't ever ask for whom the bell tolls, let's move on somewhere else because uh, the dawn isn't really happening as I wanted it. You can see that huge bank of cloud that's just sat on the horizon there, which is uh, it's blocking the sun. I thought maybe there would have been some color, but um, it's not really doing what I wanted to. It's a shame, but you know, that's okay. I've got the whole day, got another 12 hours of sunlight and probably about a dozen locations or so to go to. So let's go and see what I can do with those. I've come to my next destination away from Sant. I spent actually quite a bit longer there than I expected. I found a couple of different views which I thought were quite nice. I'm going to have to go back just because the city itself looks really nice. But I've come to another place. It's a beau village de France on the edge of uh, Charente Maritime. I'm not going to say exactly where it is just because I spent a lot of time actually researching where it is that I can go and I think handing things to people on a plate just isn't the done deal but um, I'll show you what it is that I'm doing you'll see why it is that I've come here the light is stunning this morning we're getting into autumn well autumn uh, officially started a few days ago and so that really nice autumn light is starting to come it's about half past 10 in the morning but the light is still really nice and you're going to see exactly why I've come here beautiful beautiful Romanesque church this area is full of them so I'm going to take a picture, which I've been meaning to do for a long time, maybe have a look inside and also do some detail shots of this place. Beautiful, it really is beautiful. There's a church that I'm looking at, as you can see, beautiful church. I did a couple of different compositions from slightly further back, so I actually had to come forward just because of this, this, uh, or this, this white sort of stone here. I wanted to remove that, remove this bench that's here coming into the shot. So it's my image is cut off slightly there. And of course, there is the 24 millimeter tilt shift to be able to get what it is that I want. Now I have got a picture, which I'm kind of happy with, but there was maybe too much cloud for me. So I'm waiting just to see if the sun will come back very, very briefly to get a shot. Will it? I don't know. But um, I mean, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not really uh, that fussed on waiting just to get the right cloud. Um, Yes, I know people will say, well, you can just take another picture and clone in the cloud you want. No, I am not doing that. That is not something that I do. But yeah, you can see why I'm here. I said it's a beautiful church. 
and um, this is why you really need a tilt shift lens. I know I, uh, I'm kind of advertising it so much, but it is just a brilliant lens for doing architecture like this. I've come to the Atlantic coastline because uh, and actually all along this coastline there's these traditional fishing huts that are just dotted along the coast and um, it's around I think half past 12 or so, one o'clock in the afternoon, kind of quite harsh light but the clouds are really nice in the sky and what I wanted to do is just slow the, the ocean down the Atlantic just a little. So I put a ten stop on but it was 30 seconds and so it's, it's just too much. But I put a six stop on and with F16, I'm getting around four seconds, 3.2 seconds. That's actually giving me nice kind of detail in the, in, the, in the waves that are down there. So I'll show you the difference between a 30 second and 3.2, four seconds, and why I think it's better not to go overboard with something like a 10 stop, six stop, you'll, you'll see. That's what it is I'm photographing. You can see why it is that I might come to somewhere like this. Really nice foreground interest. Kind of maybe need to see a little bit higher. I guess uh, it's an incoming tide. But um, as you can see, you've got a nice lot of swell that's going on there. The problem is though, if you put make it too long on the exposure, it just flattens everything out. It doesn't really look nice. And you can see there's nice patterns going along there in the waves. So for me, it's more interesting to try and keep that to make the image a little bit more visually interesting and you can see there's nice pastel kind of colours on a couple of the beach huts there. I'm off somewhere else now, I'm going to go to a lighthouse, I don't know if I can film or even take pictures inside but I saw a picture of the staircase and I thought right that I want. So I'm going to go there, probably take me about 10-15 minutes to get there and then I'm going to start making my way slowly back northwards to go back to my house but um, it's a beautiful day. I think it's going to be a, a very good day for photography. And um, I'm not actually sure I'm going to go for my next vlog, but um, maybe back down this way again. But yeah, you can see why I've come here. Beautiful, beautiful landscape here. This afternoon I've come to a place called Far de la Coupre and uh, they've been very kind here. They've let me set up my tripod and take a picture looking right up directly into the lighthouse, the stairs that are going up. There's the classic spiral that I've got and handily enough they've got a table to put my tripod on. And so the base of the camera is just looking straight up, very simple shot. What I do is I just put the GoPro up and you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing here. And yes, by the way, I'm out of breath. There's 300, around 300 stairs. <laughs> there you go, there's a classic spiral, classic thing in composition where you look straight up and you've got that spiral. It's just going round and round and round and round. I might do something else, but uh, honestly, as it is, it really pleases me. And um, as I said, I'm really grateful to the Lighthouse for, for letting me do this because it's a fantastic place to come. So uh, if you're in this area, definitely come to Far de la Coupe. Merci. <laughs> At the moment I'm stood outside a beautiful abbey and waiting 
for the sun to come out from behind the cloud that's up there. I've got something, it's okay. What's the problem? I'm very picky really about the cloud that's up there in the sky. There's actually quite a lot of cloud has come over since this morning. There's a lot of high wind so there's two drone spots that I really wanted to go to and I can't go because it's just too aggressive. The wind out here is really really high. It's about 50 kilometers an hour gusts which for the Mavic 2 it's just not a good idea to send that up for safety reasons. So it's just like well do I? Don't I? I don't. That's that. So I thought okay instead of going there I plan to go to this abbey and um, I've got something but it's kind of not really what it was that I'm after. I did a shot inside but um, what do you do? I mean you just wait and see what happens, see if the sun came will come out. So it came out in a fleeting moment it looks as though it's just going to about to come out now. So I'm just going to get a shot and then I'll show you the abbey that's in front of the camera. That's the abbey that I've been looking at and um, it is still a working abbey so you can only go into the the nave which is basically just in there and that's all you can do. You, there is a cloister apparently but um, you can't go in which is a shame I like doing cloisters but um, you know it is what it is you have to accept that. You can see the issue with the cloud so yeah it's a bit frustrating what can I do there is not a lot I can do I've waited maybe half an hour or so to see if the cloud would uh, do what it is that I want it to. It's not really doing what I want it to. I've got something just actually as, the, as I was speaking in the previous segment. It's okay. It's not perfect but um, there you go. What do you do? Move on somewhere else I think is the answer. I've come to a place called Eschier, I think that's how it's pronounced and um, it's not hard to see why I've come here. The beautiful Romanesque church is behind me. The whole area has just got tons of them They're everywhere and actually for the first time I've actually seen a photographer when I've been out and about which sounds very strange but I don't really see photographers when I'm out and about here in France. But um, I'm going to end the vlog here because you can see behind me the sky is quite doom laden up there. I'm not sure what it's going to do at the end of the day. I've got one more place that I wanted to check out and I'm not sure what it's going to be like when I get there. It might work, it might not. I can't really tell the direction of the wind and where the clouds coming from. I think it's coming from the east but not quite sure. However over towards the coast on the, the, uh, the, uh, the west is actually looking as if there's quite a lot of breaks out there so I'm wondering if I could get maybe something I don't know. If I do then I'll put it up at the end of the vlog but until then I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of the uh, the department of Chaunt my team. I'm not sure where I'm going next maybe it'll be the Loire Valley again I need to continue my series on the Loire or maybe it's going to be another department I've got a plan of 26 or so to be able to do. Until the next time again hope you've enjoyed it stay safe out there don't forget to subscribe down there, click on the bell up there and find, find, find me if I can find my words. Come and find me on Instagram, Facebook and wherever else. See you on the next one and see you again very soon.